This week on Slap My Joystick, it's E3. What does E3 stand for, Glenn? E3. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a rap about it? No, but it's cool. <laughs> We're live at the Electronic Entertainment Expo via the computer, obviously. Yes, via the computer. Slap my! Oh my God, I'm gonna call that out. <clears throat> Joystick. There you oh. go. Thank you. Thank you, good <laughs> sir. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, I can't talk at the moment. Somebody talk for me. Yep. Really? Oh, yeah. Anyway, since he's having <coughs> like, some kind of problem. Oh, there's some blood. You get it out. You good now? I'm good. I don't even know what episode we're on. This ten. is episode 10. Yes. Guys, episode we're ten. on episode 10 of Slap My Joystick. And this is the E3 special. E3, E3 special. I'm not exactly Gangster it. I can't tell. Chain. Yeah. Gangster I dare somebody to walk E3. up to somebody and do that. I'm E3. <laughs> <laughs> E3. It's happening this week. Started. Yeah, what, it's crazy. Sunday? It's all. It starts Monday. It starts Monday. It started Monday. Yeah, well. Technically pre-conference. For well, me, that's, but... that's just, just fake. All right. I mean, it was real, but it was, you know, not E3. It was like a sneak peek. It was just like, a, let's get ahead of everybody else. Okay. So that's cool. officially started Monday. Right. Officially started Monday. But hey, you know what? We're on Shining Stars Radio at ShiningStarsRadio.com. Click the button on the right, chat to the presenters to talk to us. And nobody's doing it anymore, so should we keep doing you it? You don't have to put a password in. Yeah. That's oh. the trick. <laughs> I know. Trickered me the first <laughs> do time. Do not put in <laughs> a password. <laughs> Pick a name and then yeah, go. Yeah, all you have to do is put a name in, uh, use put a name, and then just, you know, or even click just log in. You know, and you'll whatever. be a bunch of numbers that we won't recognize, but that's okay. Yeah. Or you enter and chit chat. Go into I meeting. am not a number. I am a free man. Oh, good reference there, Steve. <laughs> good reference. You are the new number two. Um, yeah, and catch us on Facebook. Uh, Bite this podcast and slap my joystick. Slap my joystick podcast and bite this podcast. Like us. Like us. Play with Please. us. Post you pictures can, of me. Yeah. You can check on there. We got a few pictures on there and you kind of see we have uh, other podcasts we have done in the past or up, almost up to date on there. Right. I think I'm going to post pictures from now on of bugs I, weird bugs I see. There you go. Like, what is this? Yeah. What? Somebody should identify what, what this, this stuff this is I'm seeing. <laughs> that was still disgusting. Down. Down. Spaghetti it. Forward, right, left, left, right, bop, dot, 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 dot. Up, up, dead, down, left, right, left, right, BA start. Select start. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Select start. Oh. Pretty sure it's select start. Yeah, it is. And that's how you get to the G spot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ooh. Gives you 50 lives. I'm going to remember these directions. <laughs> up. <laughs> up. Up, up, down, down, left. Mm. But, uh, you know, as per usual, quota, what's everybody been playing? I tr- did download the demo and tried it. I think it was called The Haunting. Huh? Huh? The Haunt? Huh. The Haunted? Something like that. Uh, it's for the Connect. And downloaded it, tried it as a demo. I said, I want to try more of those Connect games. And I did. Now, this one, like I said, the only problem I have with Connect, I mean, there's some more coming out there, but there, it's more like more for the kids rather than for adult games. Right. Well, hold on one second. Whoa. I forgot. Okay. I'm your host this time, ADHD Mike. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Joining me is uh, Chiba. <laughs> <laughs> GM Baby Buddha Killer. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> and the carpenter, Stevie Christ, with some stuff there. Hi, uh, I am a gay robot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? So then only you would know. I would know, and I would like to know how much. <laughs> exactly. And can you go on and on and on and yeah. on like the Energizer button? Wait, wait, wait. You're broke. I don't I don't deal with you anymore. <laughs> wow, I threw you off, son. <laughs> oh, forget this stuff. Well, Jeevo, you can't get you can't use her because she doesn't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> I have no She's neither man it. nor woman. Whoa. She's whoa. a beast. She's a beast. <laughs> 
I am definitely oh. a woman. <laughs> she is the cow god. <laughs> okay, Jim, continue what you were saying. I am the cow god. <laughs> I am free. So Hear me moo. Uh, moo. <laughs> moo. So yeah, I downloaded I think it was called the Haunt Haunting, something like that. It's on the Xbox Live on the demo section and connect section. Right. And uh it's a I wish more of them would be more adult games for that. I mean, yeah. I know they're starting to, like, adapt to it. Like, some of the adult games, you know, you get to war games and stuff are, are starting to work with them. There's certain, you know, so much you can do with um, calling out certain plays in, like, football games or... Uh, yeah. Calling, I think... Uh, I'm not sure at all what it does, and I can't remember even what the one game was. I don't know if it's um, to, one of Tom Clancy's, I think it is, that you can use connect with but you know i'd like to see more of that but this one is you arrive in a haunted house i think i'm not sure exactly what happens at the beginning you end up waking up and you're like i guess you're like well where am i and this one ghost is talking to you and he appears in the frames and he's the owner of the house and you're supposed to help him by going through and you have a flashlight <coughs> and whichever way you work your arms over you both hands mm-hmm. so you use your flashlight to look around like you have to actually step to walk yeah so oh, right, you move right. forward. So while you're stepping, and then you point your flashlight left to right. That's the direction you'll go. And when you come up with a ghost, the ghosts start attacking you. You have to dodge them, hit hit them with your like whichever hand you want. Uh, you'll hit them, and then once he's in a daze, you use your flashlight to drain his energy. Right. And so I played the demo that I did like one little quick round. I like can uh, begin. You get this one part for his machine that he needs. Mm, it wasn't bad. It was all right. Not like it's not real freaky, you know. It's, it's more right, like it's a kids, kids game, game like Blah. most of them are. But Blah, I mean, Blah, it's Blah. just it's pretty neat though to interact with uh, connect the games. I haven't done it for a while, but just to be able to see, as I said, it'll read both your hands. It'll read, you know, you dodging or docking, and for actually walking, you know, you got to pick up your feet and you know walk. Well, I definitely place. don't like the sound of that. <laughs> so that's what I played this week. Next week, who knows? It'll probably be another connect demo because there's another one on there I wanted to try. What about you, Gbo? I haven't even had a chance to play with my fire. What have you, you been doing? Oh, well. I've been busy, busy. You've been sneak, sneaking out of our podcast sessions in the air. What you've been doing, bad woman, you? But I am currently looking at an awesome dress made out of Pokemon cards. Oh, my God. It's freaking cool. Okay. I dare Gbo to actually be on the chat for both shows this week. <laughs> <laughs> and I dare her to actually talk through her pop filter. <laughs> I <Yeah>. am talking <laughs> through it. <laughs> I was kind of, I was kind of scared until Steve came in last week because I really thought like I, I was the only one there. I did jump in. Yes, you VI did. Vi cell phone, but I made it. Now I've been needing to like watch. I watched my niece and nephew, and I had other stuff come up. I've just been like busy this week. I was busy, but then of course I had enough battery power. I was testing it out in my phone, luckily, so I ended up jumping on, which did drain the battery, you know, because you got the website run. But I did make it in, and yes, you can actually enter the chat room and talk and text and talk on there via iPhone and listen to the podcast at the same time. That's cool. So yeah, it's not that bad. It's not you know, it's not too like weird to use. I mean, a little bit at first, but I mean, you know, it's not bad. I don't think it auto scrolls. It's, it's really this chat not bad. Doesn't probably, doesn't probably doesn't auto auto scroll. Yes, it does. Really? Yeah. Huh? It auto scroll. Squirrel. Okay, Steve, what are you been playing? Have you played anything? Really, absolutely nothing. I don't blame you. I do blame G. Well, uh, actually, a little bit. I played Worms on the PlayStation. Yes. Worms. How'd that, how'd that go? That's oh, a, fine. I that, mean, I just like would mess around with campaign or whatever. Is that the newer one or? It's not exactly newer. One of the older ones. Yeah, it's, it's the one that I've had had on there for a while, and then finally, like the other week, I unlocked it for the full version. Oh, gotcha. Worms. With teeth, worms. I hope sometime when Steve comes in, I'll have like I think I got the old worms on the Xbox and it came with it. You know, right, same arcade concept. games that came. Then Steve will come in and we'll play worms together. Worms. That's my dream. Worms. And then I did. I did un- also unlock since it's only like five dollars. Battle tanks. Figured it'd be something easy that Hayden could play too. Yeah. I never. What's that? Is that just a PSN game? You remember Combat? Yep. It was, it was kind of like just the tank version of that. Oh. But better graphics. Sounds fun. It actually is. 
I, I, but it's not as easy as I thought, because I even dumbed the AI tanks down, and they still killed me. That was rude. Especially you get on some of these boards where, like, the entire board's nothing but conveyor belts. So your tank is just going wherever it wants to take you. <laughs> nice. Well, there wasn't enough processing power to put conveyor belts in the old Atari system. Well, why not? Because they use, like, 2K RAM. <laughs> <laughs> I still think it'd be awesome to be able to like go back in time and like take a modern video game system and like just plug it up like look what I have. Oh yeah, you'd be the coolest kid in the world. They'd be like, Witch Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Burn him at the stag It's like what kind of black magic is this? Take him to the end of town, put him in a hole and stone him. Because you probably blow up the power supply. Stuff wouldn't work right. It'd be all like what? And actually it would work right. Yeah, Because, you know, most people have old wiring anyway. True. Course, I would though, pick you might have to back. take like TV back with you though. <laughs> oh right. Depends how far back hmm. you go. You uh, like, how do I plug this in and the TV? Yeah, we'll go back to like their seventies and be like Magnavox. Who has a Magnavox anymore? I haven't been playing anything though. I, well, I, I think I was playing more Max Payne, which I, I really like the game. And I'm gonna finish it sometime, some year. I keep going back to it, but I was sick all week and I just didn't feel like playing anything. And when I wanted to play something, I just didn't feel like doing it. I was gonna download the new Rocksmith songs like Offspring, and I just didn't feel like doing it. I was sick. When I get sick, I get miserable. When I get miserable, I don't do nothing. I, I find it safer that way. And when I get do nothing, I find myself at a funeral home. Okay. Because I like to hang out there and see what it's going to be like. Oh, oh okay. Because well, I feel yeah. like death, and I'm going to go recon. see what it's going to be like. Yeah, I'm reconning. I'm just seeing, like, what's going to happen if I die from this cold? Yeah, so I go to the funeral home, and I hang out, and I say, Huh, this is interesting. They're going to stuff me with flowers. Interesting. With flowers and stuff. At least you smell pretty. Yeah. yeah. I, so I, I don't want to smell bad when I die. No. I want to smell good. I'll make sure I'll come by with like an axe and spray you down. Because I heard that when you die, you poop. Yeah, pretty much. Like all this stuff comes out of you. Yeah. So I don't want to... Relieve I, yourself. I, I mean, I don't want to smell bad when I die. When? Huh? Why are you not helping me out here? <laughs> you help him out with... <laughs> I've you? kind of like been eluding this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you want to come hang out and recon a funeral home with me? Negatory. Why? You're going to have to go there someday too, probably. Oh, man, no, not really. You can... Bury in the backyard. Bury in the background, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> backyard Burn bees. me. Put me in some Tupperware. Call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Bury me. <laughs> wow, I'm so still sick. And now it's time for Name the Game. Name the Game. This is our Ooh. weekly game thing where we make a game up and stuff and we start making games up. I don't know. That'd be awesome. <laughs> we should be like, this game was about... Never mind. <laughs> I'm too lazy to make it up. Anyway, last week the winner was Thomas. Where are you, Thomas? We got Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1. Good game, good game. Good game, good game. Good job, good Thomas. Good job, buddy. Stevie Crash, you gonna bless he him? You got that right away, too. He's very Bless good. you, Thomas. He's very good this game. He's very, he's very welcome good. Welcome back, by the way. Welcome back. Yes, welcome, welcome back. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. And he said he's not going to be there next week, so whatever. You're not back. Yeah. You can't even hear this one, so whatever. He'll end up showing up and be like, oh, hello. Oh, well, well, you know, good job on the So book. hello or next time. One of them. One of the whatever they say on Truman Show. Good job. Good job. But for this week's name, the game, our first hint it is a computer game originally developed by Dan Rawich, Bill Heinemann, and <laughs> Paul Dillenberger in 1971 and produced by the Minnesota Educational Computing... Con these words are big. I know. Consortium in 1974. That's your first hint. That's not going to be easy. And, and now Googling, Daddy Darkwin. Yeah. No Google allowed. And if you know the answer, also, make sure you whisper I want to say something real quick. Take dark when I need an internship. Yes, internship. For I'm, Mikey. I'm broke. And then, uh... Just give me a job. If you know the answer or want to give Mike a job, whisper him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> or whisper one of us with the answer. And I probably won't be there this week because everybody left me last week. No, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, yeah, whisper one of us for the answer. But it is E3 time, folks, and we had to talk about E3. 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 And while certain conferences haven't quite occurred at the current moment, we can talk about 
some of stuff. We did see a lot so far. We did Let's see a lot so start far. Start with Tomb Raider and her. Wait a second here. You calm yourself down over there, Miss Not Hosting. <laughs> whoa, whoa. No, you hold on to that th- theory until later. Okay? Can you be a good girl? Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Well, this is what happens when you're not a good girl. See, I've learned over time that you can still hear me even when you do that. <laughs> That's because your voice is loud. But the thing is, is you're not as important as us. <laughs> now, because you don't have the mic power. <laughs> hello, hello. hello. <laughs> it's like you're off in hello, the distance. Hello. All right. Anyway, <laughs> E3, man. E3, though. E3, three P O. Some good stuff. Okay, so let's start off with the Wii U the Wii. because technically Nintendo was all like, "We're gonna start early. We're just gonna do like a little video, like twenty. 30 minute video of what the Wii U is about before we do the actual press conference. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I missed that. I gotta go back and watch it. I don't think you really need to. No. It was kind of boring. Was it? I watched like five minutes of it and I was like, I'm not watching any more of this. Mm. But from what I gather, it was just like, you know, this is what the final controller looks like. Uh huh. And it's a little different from last year. And, you know, they've just shown more of the same videos. Really? I was bored. It's not good. I just it, and they officially said the name is officially the Wii U, which we predicted last week. We thought maybe they would change it. Yeah. So I definitely don't want this garbage. Which I thought they should stay with. Just saying, I did <laughs> say it in earlier episodes. I said let's stick with the Wii U. So once again, Gwen wins. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Wii U and Nintendo better like really step it up because Microsoft and Sony's. You know they I. With watching what I've seen so far, it feels like them two, with even Sony, with, um, oh, no, I can't remember. The crossing of the systems, you know, with the Vita. Crossplay. Crossplay, that's it. With the crossplay, and then you got Microsoft come out with their new, uh, I think it's called Smart Glass. Yeah. There seem to be. We're still on the Wii U. I know. That's what I'm talking about. All right. They seem, with these, I mean, we'll, you know, talk about it probably later here, but with these things, they seem to be really seem to be pushing Nintendo out of the game with this new stuff. Because they got well, the motion controllers tab- and stuff. Your tablet can do s- well, the basic ideas of the Wii U yeah, tablet. Well, even with the crossover stuff, they're really pushing hard. I think they're they're trying to push Nintendo out. That's what I think they're doing. Don't stand for it. People <coughs> stand up for Nintendo. They've been there. Remember your Game Boy. Remember Mario. <laughs> Remember How Mario. How can we forget Mario? It's a new Mario game every year. Do it's it. True. Do it for Princess Peach. <laughs> Why? So she could bake us another cake? <laughs> I'm tired of those cakes. That's all she ever does. I made you a cake. But Come to the castle. He- you look Logan my in the princess, eyes and you tell him. Princess Peach is like 90 now. That yeah. is, yeah. yeah she's, she's up there. She's still looking good for her age, just saying. I don't want, I don't want to see the bush. <laughs> Probably got fungi in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ew. Just ew. Saying. Ew. It's sure not Just a peach saying. anymore. <laughs> it's moldy. <laughs> yes. But we, you, yeah, I didn't see too much yet with it and what games are coming out, but I think they really going to have to step up their conference. You know, with what's coming out for it and right. stuff, they're gonna have to step it up. I thought that. I mean, I know there were. You know, it's this is official. This is what this looks like. And of course, there was like the they were showing a little bit of trailer things off, and there was a black Wii U in the background. So people were like, "Oh my god, it can be black too and black and white." And I'm like, I don't care. No, the color doesn't make the system. No. Mm-mm. Wait a second here. It makes it pretty. Yeah. But it's, you know, I mean, look, when the Xbox went, you know, to the black design, I was like, oh, it's so uh-huh. beautiful. Now, Gwen, huh? what are your thoughts on the Wii U that we've seen so far? I like the Wii U. But tell us what you thought I mean, what you saw so far. Well, for what little I have seen, and yes, I have seen some, I do like its compatibility with the game system. But from what I've seen, it does the same thing basically as your tablet does. With the with smart less power. glass. With less power. Mm. Mm. No, no. It's not going to be able to do a lot of this. Wait, we're talking about Wii U, right? Yes. Yeah. What are you talking about smart glass for? It does Okay, let's thing. talk about smart glass a little bit yeah. later. No, I'm saying you're asking about my impression of the Wii U. The Wii sucky, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think of it. 
<laughs> Wii U. It, it does like there's nothing special. It does over top of the other ones. I mean, it does do some. But that's okay. But let's let's compare it to real tablets. That's what I was getting to with the smart glass when it comes but, to the Xbox. No, no, no. We don't, I'm not talk about the Xbox. I'm talking about real tablets because that's what they're trying to base this thing off of. Okay. What, tablet. Does, what does it do compared to real tablets? It, it is, I don't know, more connected up with the game system. That's all it does. Itself. I mean, that's all it does. Though. It just is, I'm sure it does. I'm sure it'll have its own little, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I never TV. heard nothing From your about. From your lap to the TV, like, people. Remember that? Like, hey, oh, wait, can I you can, use it as a TV remote? I forgot. Oh, yeah. But besides that, I mean, I can see if if they added apps, like, ooh, you know, make it more like a, like a little bit more of a tablet, too, along with the gameplay. I can be like, oh, okay, worth getting. But I never heard nothing about being, like, any apps or nothing. I think it's going to be strictly designed for the console only. I think that's what's going to give it a little bit of the edge, just because it is, like, a tablet that... Works so perfectly and so well in sync with it's the console. console. That's it. That's to me. That's useless. It's like I mean, it's supposed to be a gamepad for it, but you know. Yeah, I mean, well, I exactly. could see it would be. You know, I can see how just, it it performs with it. You know, it. I don't want to say this. On uh, different things you can do, like say, put it like playing golf. You put it on uh, ground. There's your golf yeah. ball, and use your Wii to hit. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, it's neat. Okay, it's, if it it's actually works neat. the way they show it, right? It, it is pretty neat to see that and use it that way. Besides that, <laughs> that it's I think just a waste. Cause like you said, you can't leave the facility of your Wii with it because then you just lose it. Well, you know, but you that's the thing. It it's it's the if idea could, of it but is if you to could stay cross with over your it, and your game's on. Uh, Say your Wii or whatever, and you could somehow cross over it to your um, to the tablet part and be able to walk away from it. I'd be like, okay. That's cool. That's impressive. But being that you can't, you can't do nothing unless that thing's right there. It's only for the console. That's what I don't like. It's like if you're going to make something like that, make it a little more like better than just for the console. And plus, I still don't know. If I'm still. I still still seem like it was only like one one game, one Wii U gamepad per thing. I didn't see them. Still? Talk- I didn't see them saying anything about. So I heard, there, well, like you said before, about heard about them doing it. We'll that might not be more later. Yeah, that might, so you know, assume. before it comes out, you might, you know, get the, you know, they might get it in there where it's like, okay, you can use more than one. Well, if they were going to do it, they were going to do it now. Well, they talked about it. maybe they just haven't done it yet. Uh, the they, they, would have, they would have to announce it now. I'm telling maybe. you that they would have announced it by now if it's going to happen. I guess. But. Yeah, and because all this stuff was like, and use your Wii controller. And it's like the same stuff we talked about last week. I don't want to use the Wii controllers on a new game system because it's just like I'm playing the old game system. That's what I seen. It. That's what I thought of it when I seen it. I'm like, it's almost like having the, just the old system, but just have an upgrade to the old system. Yeah, I don't that's like that. Pretty awesome it. upgrade. Pretty awesome. Yeah. It's new console thing. time, new systems. Nobody's Get- getting a new console. The next year? What? New console? Not right now. That's what I'm talking about. But Nintendo's always comes out with theirs first. They always come out the year before Microsoft and Sony. So this is I know. Well, that, that's is, what I said before, and yeah, I completely agree with that. This is their new console. This yeah. is it. This is not a. Like, this is not just. An, this is not actually the old one upgraded. It's <laughs> an actual new console. This is their new console. I, I, I can't actually say qualified as that one still working off the con- original console. It's not working on the it's original no, console. No, it is a new console. It just looks. It just. It's similar to the old console. That's all. Oh. It's not gonna be like you're not gonna be able to play Wii U games in a Wii U or anything. You know, this is all different. This is their. This is their next gen. Yeah, it's the next console. Okay. <laughs> but it, it just just looking at it though, I mean, you still you, you, uh, motion controllers are still in fact the same ones. I think, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And but you will get the new game pad or whatever they call and then you'll yes. get the tablet pad no the game pad is the or you get the pad and you get also a new controller or whatever yeah is. the xbox i mean <laughs> uh, yeah you get that xbox controller i yeah. mean wii u new wii u controller and uh you know you kind of get that stuff but it's still kind of just seems like it's the old system just i'm gonna there. call it now okay before oh this happens in the future mm-hmm. i think you guys are going to be kind of wrong on what you think the level of Xbox versus, you know, PlayStation versus Wii. I think Wii's going to actually perk up here. They no. had their run with the Wii. They did. They had a good run. They did. They had a day. really good run. Hell of a run. This time, I no, don't think people, they're getting that run. Buyer beware. Yeah. They learn their lesson. I don't think I, they're getting I think, it. I'm not saying they're going to do extremely over the top no. well, but I think you guys are kind of okay down low. Because they will not be number one next this genera- no. next generation. They were number one when they came out. 
for a good while. I mean, they no, no, they are number one this generation because they're still, still number one. I'm pretty sure. I think they, I'm saying they will not be. The Wii U will not be number one next generation. No, it's just not. Gonna happen. People have got over that. That most people got to get over that phase of that whole we're motion, gonna, control. motion control, which didn't work as well as the Nintendo was claiming at first, anyway. So, no, I I don't think it's gonna be. It might be second, maybe third. No, They've been third before. Microsoft, one of them will take number one. I yeah. mean, cause look, I mean, I, it's hard to even say now because we don't even have any idea what the next console is even going to be like. For right, we too. don't know yet. I mean, we do. We just don't tell people. Yeah, well, it's our secret. But it's hard to say what's even going to come up. You know, some are going to say, you know, oh, yeah, we, you know, you is going to be at the very bottom of the list because I don't know what Sony and Xbox really bring in yet. I've heard a report that, 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 that from de- was developers, developers have said that they find the Wii U to be very difficult to program for. Really? Yep. Hmm. No, I did not know. Did and not most likely, that. Xbox, the new Xbox, will be the easiest one because it, it, they always tend to make it very easy because they know Windows and everything. Yeah. And Direct X. Right. So that's what I remember. I re- read that 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 because it's a whole like plus they got to work with, like you know like especially they want to port games over how they they get ported for this different crazy controller and everything, or you know whatever. So E three go ahead. E three. <laughs> And now it's time for hint number two of name the game. Name the game. Name the game. I'm sorry. We're just I was telling G-Wall. Name the game. I love my fire. And <laughs> my fire. <laughs> That's just not we're right. going to play a little, like, five to seven second clip, maybe ten seconds if I'm feeling gracious, of, this song, of a song from the game. And if you can guess it, whisper it to us and all that. <laughs> So yeah, there is a clip. Um, whisper to us again. Or I got, I've got a feeling gap. So whisper to us. But let's hit mm-hmm. Microsoft's conference now. Okay. What about them? Microsoft started off with what we thought they'd start off with. Yeah. Halo they 4. Did. Halo 4 right they off the They showed a good bit of it, actually. They did. They did show a good bit. And you could see the differences in them. Mm-hmm. From the Halo, uh, like from Bungie, a, from the 353. 343. 343, ah! Yeah. <laughs> Someday I'll get it right. It looked more action-y. Like, it, I don't know, like, it, Halo's always was more slow-paced. This looked a little bit more quicker. Not slow Depending slow-paced. on where they were. Like, this what one, they're talking about demons. Not demons, I don't know what I'm talking about. They weren't, they weren't the, uh... You've seen new enemies. Right. And but depending on where they were exactly were at, you know what they showed. I mean, you could have your slow parts in regular Halos, too. You know, it's just depending on what part they showed you. But what they did show you, I mean, it, it did look good. Yeah, I thought it looked good. And I figured they en- they called the enemy. It's just like an un like a I mysterious thing they in the past. Yeah, they weren't I don't know. sure. Yeah, you know, like in the games, you know, they were like, you know, um, but but it wasn't the Covenant. No, and it wasn't it the was Flood. No. no. Steve, did you get a chance to check out that Halo 4 gameplay? Negative. Okay. Well, it was pretty good, though, from what I've seen. I was, you know, they had Cortana and everything in there. Yeah. Now, you're saying, but based on what you saw, that it was all the good stuff. Hopefully, it wasn't like some of the movies, like The Village, where they show you the good stuff in the previews, and then the rest of everything else was crap. I'm pretty sure there's like two minutes in The Village that was actually <laughs> yeah, good. I would hate that. <laughs> the whole two minutes was probably the commercial. Oh, I didn't. Oh, why did you bring that memory up? <laughs> oh man, that was awful. Oh, the village. I mean, how about the oh, v- yeah. about the Wii U? Same thing. And and that Shalomon presents the Wii U. <laughs> 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 but no, yeah. I mean, like you said, I mean, we figured they were going to bring Halo Four into a big time. They brought back later. They definitely highlight Halo Four. They yeah. brought back down later in the conference. They brought Halo 4 back. Did they? Because they kind of like had to miss some of it. They did. They brought Halo 4. I can't remember what part it was for. Because they had, brought like, Halo 4 we were back. There, we, were, we were there in the audience. Yeah. And clearly we were in the front row. Yeah, but you had to take a bathroom break. I had to go do some other things. But yeah, but I had to go potty. Yeah. But I had to do some other things too. So I missed some of the stuff. Yeah. So I came back. I, I was like, where are you? I saw and some And then you were like, players. I'm down at the booth already. I'm like, wow, well, you're already playing games. I started drinking early. <laughs> uh, I missed it. I was behind the stage. Yeah, Steve was being <laughs> hardcore. Steve was yeah. building. He was building stuff. Yes, 
I just not telling you what. Yeah, is that whole conference stage? That's uh, Steve built it. Yeah, Steve built the conference stage. That's why it worked so well. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, so they did bring that up pretty big. Uh, let's see here. What else? They, they also uh, also, again Black Ops. We knew that was coming. Okay. Before we get to Black no. Ops, no, I'm just saying Splinter Cell. Yeah, I don't care. You don't care, okay, Steve? I, well, Steve, were you I, in the Splinter Cell? I played Splinter Cell the first one, I think. But then I just never really played it much. No, it, don't get me wrong. It's, uh, it did look good. Oh, it looked okay, awesome. it did. It, lo- it looked great. It's just I never got into it. <laughs> okay, Steve, did you, Steve, was it you that like Splinter Cell? Maybe that was Tibbs. Uh, I remember playing them. It's very. It's like it's like really fun whenever they got into like the co-op modes. Yeah. Well, this one like had a different feel and look to it. Like what they call it, the run. Oh, that running style or whatever. You can kill all these enemies in this different way while you're kind of like running. Don't you remember? You remember all the kills he was doing when he was kind of like. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to think. <laughs> well, he pulled one guy behind. Like he he got behind the bunker or whatever, killed him, brought him over, and he ran to the other guy. And I think he yeah he ended up yeah. killing him. He did and he one did, like, kills. Yeah, and then he like, shot the other guy. I forget they yeah. call it, but it's a very neat idea. Yeah. If it pulled off right. So they showed Splinter Cell, and I think there's some exclusivity. Not, it's not an Xbox exclusivity, but maybe downloadable content. Something there with that. Okay, then they showed Tomb Raider trailer, I believe. Or it was around about that way. Somewhere down the road. Braid problem. Now let's, now oh, let's talk about g issue here. Okay, what is Laura Croft's trademark? Her accent. Her braid. Her braid. Well, and there's really no braid. Be- no, if you really want to be technical about her trademark, her trademark was her boobs. Well, True. Yes, I can agree with that. Okay, but but <laughs> I want Stephen Gwen to go off on her this because braid is, is extremely is. important. Like that's like that's like oh my gosh, it's Laura Croft running because you know why? Because it's just like a half mile braid down. I'm like, sure most back. people are paying attention to her braid. But if you remember the movie, that's, though, that's like the coolest part. The movie. Uh, Tomb Raider, there was parts in her she didn't have a braid. She was long hair, straight hair, but the accent was there. Right. They kept the I, accent because the accent's not. I'm not saying that's that the accent's not important. That's, not that's my biggest pee is accent. her accent's gone because people can have haircuts. Yeah. I don't recall her accent being totally gone. It might be a little bit lighter, but I'm pretty sure it's still British. Well, to me, it was, was a it? lot lighter. Oh, I know it's <laughs> talk, talk like non existent. I mean, she didn't talk too much in it, though. So. She, she, you're right. She didn't talk too, too much. No. no. I, I, didn't, I didn't think about picking up that. I remember last year, I thought, time. when they did that first trailer last year, that she had a decent British accent going on. See, like, this, is, this is the thing <laughs> with it, okay? You can make a new Tomb Raider and completely, like, blow our minds and go in a completely different direction, okay? But it's still Tomb Raider. Therefore, Laura Croft should still be Laura Croft. It's she an early version same, of her. It's like way before everything else happened. See, I she can deal been, with she... the change in hairstyle more than I can change with the complete change over in a story. Because you grew up playing that storyline. You've watched yeah. movies well, of that yeah. storyline. And it's all of a sudden, they're going to completely of. change it up. Now, here's what I want to know. Here's what I want to ask g Wow real quick. g Wow, did you know in a regular Tomb Raider, it really wasn't about Laura Cross because it was about you can either pick a guy or a girl in the first one? Well, I don't remember that. Yeah? <laughs> it was about Laura Croft in the first one. I played it, too. I don't remember that. Yeah, you but, can pick um, a guy or a girl. Yeah, with this new one, like... It could be Laura Croft or Larry Croft. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like Steve said about the changing of, like, the sort of the background of the story... I mean, they did bring that. They, rebooting they, it. they brought that up in there, though. They said that they did bring it up, saying this is not like your normal Tomb Raider Which is because good to this me. happened early when she was young. She didn't have the skills she would have today. That's why it, it's not really like right. the normal Tomb Raider. She's I mean, a, they, she's they still it. She's like, in, in, so like it's like a dumbed down version. No, it actually it's looks better than most. Of yeah, <laughs> it does look good. I mean, this too like, later. She, I would she's, play. Like she, she's still learning, and she's scared of stuff and everything, and she's yeah. not been through it all yet. You right. know, they, they did. They she did, did bring power. it up. That's what they explained. It. It's not going to be like Tomb Raider you, you're used to playing it because it's before. But here's she what I want there before the skills before you know the braids, bravery. braids, and accents and all that silly stuff. Which yeah, she had the accent braid, psh, haircut as Steve said. Um, what do you think of the actual look of the game and the feel of it and everything? Looks all right. I mean, the game looks excited. great all together. Yeah, I agree with Steve. It looks great. I like the whole like bone arrow stuff. I think she was using. Yes, mm. that's what got me. I'm like, ooh, I always like using the. Bone oh, arrows. another thing, you're gonna. Ha- they have to keep. You have to keep the fact that you can swan dive and how you, how she does a little handstand thing whenever you can climb up on, r- oh. on a ledge. <laughs> 
True. <laughs> True that. <laughs> <laughs> but now, I, yeah, it looked very good. I thought it did. I mean, I would... I, it's a game Here's I, I would probably would want. I'll try I to demo, but it. I think oh, that could be a game This I'd is buy. the first time in a long time. Maybe, maybe I don't know, uh, in a long time. That I can remember where people were like, oh my god, Tomb Raider looks awesome, we gotta buy it. Because that doesn't yeah. happen in a long time because people haven't cared about Tomb Raider. I mean, they cared to an extent, but it's always been, uh, yeah, it's been like, oh, it's everybody come out a new one, but it's like, eh, Now it's like, oh my god, I, the buzz around the internet, Tomb Raider looks amazing. Yes. That's a good thing for the series. Changed it up, and it look, looks for the best. It's like, now you can have, like, you know, Uncharted versus Tomb Raider. There you go. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, I don't know. Then Mark, Mike, the Marker Rarf. Marcroft. Marcroft. Microsoft. Markler. Markler. Marker Bugger. Discussed, uh. Well, we can probably. I can't remember how everything went to order. They were discussing Nike workout. Yes, which I so want to get. And I can, like, competition myself with other people's. And I can, like, work my butt off. And I dare them to make me sweat. I double dare them to make me sweat. I am all ready to go for it. <laughs> Gwen has this in- insane power where she just tells her buddy not to sweat and that she doesn't sweat because she, doesn't. Doesn't, she doesn't want to smell. I have worked out before with Jim. I don't know how many times. Why were you working out like, with Jim? Because I'm buff. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and, like, we're doing, like, hardcore, like, P90 stuff. And, <clears throat> no, it was, like, P90M or whatever. P90M? <laughs> oh, actually, I guess it kind of was. Yeah. No, we were doing it, and I still I didn't sweat. Not one of them. No matter what we were doing, I never sweat. Nike, I don't know. I mean, you might be able to sweat. I don't know. Uh, someday you, you sweat. You know, yeah, someday. But it, I've seen it. It does look good, like, for workouts. If you're one of them type you like to work, you know, do the workout at home, this seems to be something you would want to get because it does keep track of everything for you. And plus, you can meet people like also online and instead of like you can you're kind of keep an eye on them kind of go against them or try to keep up with them but you also can even make say like a i would say almost like a friend on there where you can work out with yeah like a workout bite you can always work out with and get on a certain time you both get on there and you can work out together which is fine and and danny i used to be into that kind of stuff and sure it does look like it could really help but to me after after doing like p90 and whatever just like you know what? I can get through this way quicker than, ex- than, 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 than like the video games telling me to, because it screws up every once in a while too. And you know you're gonna deal with that stuff if it messes up. I'm not Probably, catching it right. Yeah. I just want to get through it, and that's why I, like just now I'm like, oh, I'll just do the video. It's much easier. And I, I, I'm really excited about, it, especially like as interactive as it is. Like they get you to work out, they throw balls at you and stuff like that. I've seen that in the little demo. Yeah. Like it's really interactive. That way you can step into all. When you want us to throw balls at you, we will. We can, no. we can do better. We can make it more dangerous through rocks. <laughs> no, and then of course you get your one-on-one trainer, and there's it's scanning your body in, so it knows exactly what you're doing. So if you're doing something wrong, it can correct you right then See, and there. See, that's what I thought it's too. It's your personal trainer um, right there. If with it you. does that, it didn't if show it that. Yeah. It didn't show it, but I was wondering, like, is there's there's always the correct way and incorrect way of like doing push-ups and sit-ups, you know, right. especially like push-ups, you know, if you don't do. But you know, the right, cat heart hard has issues when yeah, it goes when you're down on the floor. But I was I don't I didn't see it in there, but that's what I'm wondering if it able to correct you like say if you're going down like doing a push-up and say you're not going right going in an angle you know straighten out your back if it would if it might be a bar on there that you it'll show that you got to get lower you have to do the correct push-up but it is my problem. i don't really the connect, see it the connect doing just doesn't it look, but this connect always has trouble when you're on the floor yes it, t- it tends to but i haven't been playing for a while so i don't know but, but and then this is the other thing i like about it too is if you're slowing down like you only have two more minutes to do this little jogging thing and you know I'm, i don't know if it's going to do it or not like i am making some assumptions here but it'd be nice if that coach person there's like encouraging going come on come on you're slowing down we know you're slowing like actually almost like actually have a trainer with you in your home and Maybe. you don't actually have to go to a gym to do it right, that i don't know it'd be nice to see it i don't see it being in there but it could be. I mean, that would be nice because they can do it easily. You know, if we see, you know, your star solid, but you're going down, slowing down. Okay, too much la- too much working out here. Let's get back to laziness now. <laughs> yeah, it's back to laziness. Lazy Microsoft, thing. smart glass. What do you think? It's glass that's smart. It's turning your TV into a smart TV. Yeah, is what it's saying. I mean, I think it's, 
it's it's a good idea for them because you're taking your cell phone, your tablet, your TV, and your console, and you're all Take working whatever, it. Whatever, working you, if you, whatever you already have. Yeah, you don't have to buy a certain brand or nothing like that. It's you. Most people have this stuff. You know, you got your smartphone. You do have a flat screen in your house. Right. Uh, most likely you're gonna have a console. Oh, and yeah. possibly Will a tablet. it work with the uh, Kindle Fire? Is my question. It said Android products, so I'm. Don't, don't, I don't know. As long as I, I'm sure, I as would, long as you could get it on like Amazon's marketplace. Yeah. If, if it will work on the fire, it's it sounds to me like it's, it's going to be a program. Yeah. We, but, well, we don't want to make assumptions. We don't know. Right. We're not really sure. But uh, I think it is. It's a pretty neat idea. Like if I had uh, extra cash and I was getting into like Bing on there and Hulu and you know pay for subscriptions. What's, I can't remember what the Why do you need is. to pay for Bing? It's a search engine. Not being, but well, they're doing. Um, they were showing what the music and stuff on there too. The Xbox Music or whatever. Yeah, I, now I don't know if you'd have to pay for that, but you use Bing to search that stuff. Yeah, but you don't pay for Bing. No, but you might pay for music. Which now, pay- if I had the money to pay for the music and pay for the well, let's- movies, like. I think that'd be a good idea because you could take that watch TV, take it off to, into your tablet or smartphone, hey. and take it with you, and then come back, put it back with the, on. With it. the interaction that Microsoft is trying to do here with this smart glass by saying, "Hey, you can use whatever phone or tablet, anything you have right. almost." Oh, I'm sure there's gonna be some things that don't work. Right, uh-huh. there's always. And there's you know the iPhone, iPad, and all that stuff. Or you know, and they're like, you can you know work with your Xbox, you can make plays in that, like in a football game, right? Because that's the only one they really shut off of the game way. Yeah. And movie can pause here, take it wherever you want. Are they trying to steal Nintendo's Thunder? The Wii U's Thunder? That's what I said. I think they're trying to squeeze Nintendo out. Yeah. Um, I think they are. I think they're trying to push Nintendo down. I think they're saying, hey, we can do this right now without needing a new hardware. Yeah, it's like instead of Similar you, having to buy new hardware to make it work, you already have the hardware. This is what we are doing. Yeah. You have it. We're not making you pay like all this extra for equipment. You already got it. We give you the app. Yeah, I think I'm guessing it's going to be an app. I think, yeah, most likely, because, you know, for the phone and stuff, you're going to have to have it in each. So imagine it be some kind of app. And, yeah, I think they're trying to push Nintendo down or out. One of them. Yeah, you might as they're well hit them before, them they, before they even come out. Exactly. Hit them hard. It's business, people. It's business. What you well, do. you know, considering that Nintendo stole the Xbox 360 controller. <laughs> Mike, it's not an Xbox 360 controller. It just looks like it. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> okay, so it's that's that's an interesting idea. I don't know if I'd ever use it, but it's cool. No, so if I had that stuff, I probably would. No, I'd be like, oh, okay, well, this is yeah. cool. You know, okay. I just don't have it. Like, I don't have the tablet now. I, You know, but I... Probably will get it just to play with my cell phone on it and be like, oh yeah. Okay, what about the Resident Evil trailer uh, gameplay they showed off? Resident Evil 6 gameplay. And and, and have an exclusive, first exclusive content, downloadable content for the Xbox 360. Yeah, I've seen that. That looked like that was a good gameplay, in my opinion. I liked it. Yes, I did. I did like that one. I liked it a lot. I did, because the way they showed and everything going on, I mean, you got your regular zombies, you know, going, oh, and you're blasting them and stuff. It looks like they kind of took Resident Evil back to being Resident Evil. But it's, it's the way, at least that part did. At least it, the, the, you know, the it part heavily resembled showed. Resident Evil 4, at least. Yeah, it it wasn't no, like, out of here, and the, they're not really zombies, or they could be really, it's, you know, it's just not these monsters, they're, you got zombies. It looks like they took it back to Resident Evil. Yeah, and It looks like that, uh, I take it that was Leon. Yeah. Look like it. Uh, was that Claire? I don't know. It looked like her, but I couldn't tell. But here's the thing: it's gonna be like you're gonna be playing like three different characters in that game. Oh, really? Three? And you'll be playing Chris Redfield also, who's gonna be more of a more okay. of a shooter thing, not not first person shooter, but more of a shooter thing. Okay. So I think they're gonna go like it's gonna be cool. I think with doing that way, like you're almost gonna have like three different kind of gameplay elements. Nice. Which is no, cool. I think it, it does look good. At Resident Evil. I haven't played. Oh, I forget which was the last one I played. That was with uh, Nemesis on it. Yeah, it and then well, I mean, I played the other ones. I haven't played them hardcore, but this one looks like one. Pretty again. sure. Didn't you? You beat Resident Evil Four, didn't you? Not. I don't know what's in it. Leon. You remember you, Leon the, and Claire. The town. You go through the town, and that for the Spanish-speaking people. Yeah, I don't know if I beat that. Or not. The big alligator in the water. Yeah, I did not. I did that. I you don't know if I ever beat actually it. beat it. Or You're no. probably addicted to it, like you usually get. Yeah, probably. I might have beat that one. But this one does look good, and it's, you know, anybody who likes the Resident 
Evil series, I think, will like this game. Then, I don't know what else. So far, what is there, was there anything else before before the finale there of Call of Duty? Anything else before that, pick, that you picked up on? Because I can't remember right now. I remember I was in and out of the I was in the conference with the front seat tickets via the interweb. No, not really. Not that I can remember, but we we can jump with the like Ubisoft and well, stuff. Well, okay, so they they ended up Call of Duty showing a lot of gameplay, yeah, a lot of gameplay. Like gameplay. You actually got the dra- you actually got the fly the jet. Yes, you do. That looked cool. Yeah, so they're, they're starting to bring in different elements, <laughs> you know, making these games so people want to play them, looking better. Right. Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops looks good. Dude. With Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2. Uh, BO2. Oh. But it does, it does look good. Graphics look good. Gameplay looks good. Uh, new elements put in, you know, like you said. Wish you would have showed a little bit more of those uh, elements off. Yeah, I was expecting to see more. And we really didn't, but we did see some. We seen the dr- drones going ahead of you and blasting people. You know, you're controlling the drones. Um, you do have, like I said, it's a little bit futuristic, but also it's like a reality future, like a ground in reality it's, future. It's like happening now. You know, it's like modern warfare. Happening now, warfare, in 2025. Taking modern warfare, like just upgrade, not going way far. And you know, it looked a little sci-fi. bit futuristic. Yeah, there. It's it's the new upgrade. So, they're slowly See, my going. only issue with that whole thing was I was like, wow, yeah, they're actually... Because then they do the jet thing. No, that wasn't that game. Anyway, you're going to fly the jets. That's cool. Yeah, but, like Battlefield or something. The jets. Yeah. And the player. Th- I heard they were hard to control and stuff. Oh, they are hard to control. Yeah, they just, always are. Yeah. But my whole thing with that is, is like, I didn't felt like they didn't show off enough of the features they were they're toting, even though we know they're coming. Yeah. They, because I it, when, they I looked at that, when I looked at that, I said, this is cool, but it reminds me of just regular... Modern Warfare slash Black Ops doesn't remind me of anything like innovative coming out. No, what they show because that's what I expect to see. The others. There is right. more in this game that and they I didn't know. show that it's the, what makes the game because the different elements they throw in and they didn't. Now, granted, really it's still maybe want to play it because they'd just be like, "Well, yeah, it's just, you know, you play them every year. You might as well, you might as well take 15, anyway, 10 hours to it, play." It, it looks good because I mean, you got you're, you're in there. You got built the whole building is coming down on you. Right. I mean, it does look good. Right. And your third hint for name the game. I hope I don't have to say any big words this time. Um. <laughs> oh, there will be blood. The third hint from name the game. If you haven't gotten already, and I'm sure you have. The original game was designed to teach school children about the realities of 19th century pioneer life on the trail. The player has assumed the role of a wagon leader, guiding the party of settlers from Independence, Missouri, to Oregon's Willamette Valley over the trail via. Uh, oh man. <laughs> Kana Setoga Wagon in 1848. <laughs> I can't say this stuff. I know they're big words. Dumb. Dumb, you words. <laughs> I wanted to say the F word, but I can't. But Dumb if you, you know the answer, then you should get it on this one. If you can get it on the other ones, make sure you whisper one of us. Whisper. And if you have a job for Mike, make sure you whisper. Yes. Give me yes. a job. ADHD like whisper. ADHD jobs. <laughs> <laughs> ADHD jobs. jobs. <laughs> but if you know the answer, just whisper one of us, and we'll not your name on next week's show. So... Good luck, have fun. So, what did EA show off? Games. Yeah. <laughs> Is it in the game? <laughs> it's in the game. They, I mean, they show off their sports games as usual. You know, yeah, so I don't really don't hockey. get too much into there. Um, we have, and I already ranted about the UFC thing, which was a surprise. Yeah. Big UFC. surprise. I'm trying to think. I'm going to get these mixed up. That's okay. I'll mix you yeah. up. Yeah. Let's play these. Middle of Honor, was that EA? Or yes, was it? it was. Okay, they're coming up with that Middle of Honor. Oh, I don't remember what it was called, but it's Middle of Honor. <laughs> it's a Middle of Honor game. Um, <laughs> Using the Frostbite 2 engine yes. from Battlefield 3. It looks good. It does. You know, I'll get it because I like those kind of games. Most likely I'll buy it. Uh, another war game. I don't like they throw in any game. You know, yeah, new elements. It's like, ooh, you know, but I mean, it's another war scenario, so I'll probably buy it. It does look good. The graphics... They do look good on it. I think that's the one. Um, you play Metal Honor campaign, and then in the multiplayer, you'll have the 12 different teams, like all over the country. You know, you have your SEALs, your SOG, whoever else you can pick from. And you that's the one I thought, that you talking, I thought it was Black Ops 2 you were talking about. No, I don't think Black Ops. No, it's Metal of about. Honor. No, so if I did, I'm oh, sorry. But uh, no, it's Metal of Honor because you play it, and then uh, gameplay, you play 12 different. They want to try to do it differently, so. 
right. Tell your boss. No, actually, i tell you what. That is actually pretty neat because, you know, uh, remembering to it, they do have a lot of elements they did add in this Medal of Honor. That's why I think it's going to be good. They have the drones you throw from hand, you know, the airplanes you throw from your hand to get them in the air. There's some type of grenade, like they showed you throw, it shoots out wires, and I think it was an explosive type. I'm not sure. I'm curious how that works. Uh, oh, God, there was something else. What was it? I mean, you got a new bot, you know, with the machine gun and a uh, grenade launcher on there. Oh, there was something else. I know there was something else. I can't think of. There are new elements in the gameplay and multiplayer, and I think that's what's going to make this game. Because it's stuff I haven't seen in the other any other multiplayers yet. Yeah. I think that's what's going to make this game, the multiplayer on it. I don't know. I didn't see it out. It, it looks like... It looks good. Metal, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of blowing up in it. There's a lot of blowing up in it and everything like that, but I think with the new elements in there that they're putting in there, I think that's going to make people get it. Okay, so let's move on to Ubisoft real quick, or Ubisoft, or what they showed that you liked. Remember watch Dogs! Watch Dogs! Oh, yeah, Watch Dogs. Oh, here's my Ubisoft right here. Yeah, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Far Cry 3 and Dead Space 3 was... Yeah. Was Dead Space 3 was yeah. Okay. Dead Space 3 is a nice, that's going to be a nice one. There's so many games. But I yeah, know. Watch Dogs, Ubisoft. Oh. How crazy was that? It it was crazy at first. I was like, what, what, what's going on? But then, you know, then they run the game and i really curious to play this game being able to control anything like pretty much that's controlled by a computer it blew my mind a little you bit know, traffic lights um surveillance I mean, it's cameras, gonna have its limitations cell but it just, phones, man, computers it has that that thing to it that that, that hooks it's got me the twist it's got that well, it's got that like almost like a cyberpunk thing to it yeah i love cyberpunk stuff Imagine what they showed on, you know, when it comes out on how much other stuff you're going to be able to do in there to get you know, a guy you're after or whatnot or get through a level of what other stuff you'll be able to control and do. I mean, you could jam single there were signals in there. Uh, I forget what other stuff they were showing. You can hack, even hack phones and stuff. But it's it's really neat concept. I like it. Yeah, especially... I'm very curious We've talked it. about it already, but that part where really, he changed the light so that everything would rack... Uh. Yeah, that was good. But, yeah. So, yeah. Besides a bunch of stupid dancers at the beginning of that conference. Everybody dancing and stupid stuff and whatever. Yeah, okay. Don't you... When the Ubisoft conference started, it was all dancing coming out. People were dancing. The oh, girls. It was dancing. It was stupid. Dancing? They like, were dancing. Like Dance Central thing. It was dance... Just dance, dance for... for. Like, whatever, God, yeah. I was like, even blow my head off. Yeah, they brought up dance for him. I was like, oh, dear God. I my Rocksmith stuff. That's yeah, all I that's care about. Yeah, that's They did throw out, brought in dance for right off the bat. That was like, yeah. It's like, meh. So we can have a little bit about Sony's real quick, too. Sony's? Yeah. Sony started off with Beyond. That's right. Beyond Two Souls. Two Souls. Yes. It's... The next game from the people who made Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain was good. Oh, I loved Heavy Rain. This Mm -hmm. one, um, Beyond, first thing I noticed with the graphics, uh, especially the cinematics or whatever was playing at the time, were good. (laughs) I mean, talk about realistic looking. And it stars Ellen Page. Yes. The voice of. And actually, the facial look, too. Yeah, I've seen that. And she's obviously like everybody her. knows she, she's been in X Men and Juno and right. a lot of movies actually. Yeah, very popular. I like her. Inception. I'm, looks, cur- I'm curious looks to like see what game. happens with this telekinesis thing that you kind of see going on at the beginning. Yeah, that's of what it. I said. They didn't. They showed a little bit of gameplay, uh, most action sequences, you know, going on there, but they didn't really sh- get to show. You really didn't get to see the like, actual gameplay of it. So we're gonna have to wait to see that. Cause I'm curious on the gameplay exactly how the controls are. How, you know, on exactly how you control it and what do they do, and you know, is it kind of going to be similar to Heavy Rain, or is it going to have, you know, yeah, be, they, look like, like that, like, feel like that, but a whole different control system? It's probably going to be like a while before we ever get to see this game. Yeah, probably going to be quite a while. I mean, was this going to be the next gen console? No, he said PlayStation Three today. So, we'll so see. I mean, maybe maybe toward the end of next year, at the beginning of 2014. I can't see it being soon. No, I don't think. Because he said we'll let you know more over the couple months yeah, I could see, yeah I mean you'll see more I could see it maybe hopefully maybe beginning of next year you want to get up I mean if it's going to be PS3 you got to get up for new consoles out so yeah maybe early next year maybe you can be a superstar if you would stop looking at web pages or Facebook <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, and what I also want to discuss about Microsoft Zero real quick. They're finally putting Internet Explorer, a web browser, into the Xbox finally. Oh, yeah? Did you miss that? I think I missed that. Yeah, they're putting a Internet Explorer. They're going to... That's supposed to have been when I went... You came this back is and when I, I came back and I said, Jim, you can go to the bathroom yeah, yeah. and check out the girls that cosplaying girls. Right. Or booth babes. Booth babes. Yeah, they're actually going to incorporate Internet Explorer so you can start browsing the web... And you can use, you know, obviously connected to talk about it and everything. Yeah. Talk to your online strippers and everything. Right. Homegirls. Yeah. <laughs> and then Sony showed off their Sony Battle Royale. Yeah, that's funny. That's the other one, the Battle Royale. Um, Super Smash Brothers, you know. Course, it is just, Super Smash Brothers, yes. essentially. Yes, it's another Just more Super grown Smash up Brothers. a little bit, maybe. Yeah, just a different kind. It's just Super Smash, Smash Brothers, but, you know, different characters. Um... If you like Super Smash Bros., you're going to love this game, too. Now, I like it, but I, I tend to like to play it, like, say, if it was us. You know, four of us was playing, to, you know, the Battle Royale. Have a lot of fun with it. I'm not too much with multiplayer, so me jumping on there and playing multiplayer probably never happened. But doing, you know, all, you know, one, one console, four of us, yeah. Local, yeah. That'd be a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun. Yes. Oh, you know, also I forgot to say <laughs> Xbox con- conference again. They they showed a little bit of, just a little tra- teaser trailer for Gears of War prequel. Yes. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it Gears now. Gears of War, I was like, eh, neither. I was like, oh, that's going to be a good game right there. Gears of War coming out another one. And it's going to be prequel, I think it's going to start, it, the main focus is on Baird. Is it? Yeah. That was a good game. I liked that one. I liked that series. Dead serious. Dead serious. <laughs> Me too. I always played that. Remember? Yeah. yeah we're hard All to night. That. Yeah. Good times. Good times. But yeah, so like that's kind of what we have so far, like for the show here. I mean, so far what we've seen has been pretty good, but yeah. nothing really. I really no wonder, wow factor. There hasn't been a. No. There's no G wow factor. <laughs> Uh, there's well, been a lot of exciting, interesting, like, you, you want to go out and get some of this stuff, but there's just not been that, oh my gosh, did you hear? Right. <laughs> yeah. The problem is that that hasn't been really happening for a couple years now. It's been two no, years. No, I mean, yeah, because when Connect. I don't out, think the Connect was even that. Do you. People were, I mean, yeah, we I were talking it, about it. People it, were amazed. That would have been the wild factor. Mm, there's a lot of negative negativity when I. Dan asked it because people well, figured it would be the figure with the lag and everything like that. that. Well, but, that but it was it was not the biggest wow factor though of that year. Of that, there was a, that, what we're saying is there was, was a wow that factor year, that year. Except for like oh, oh my gosh, and people were talking about it. There's no remotes. There's no remotes. This and that. Then it came out. There's people were like, "Yep." <laughs> <laughs> I I will give them credit. They're still supporting that. Yeah, they're still yeah. known. Figure might drop but we don't got a wow factor but... yet. Let's just hold off on that, though. Yeah, yet. I was really hoping for like a like somebody like a Xbox or Sony to announce a hardware, yeah. some new hardware. I was really hoping for that. Yeah, not gonna happen. But we got good games coming out. A lot of good games. Oh yeah, a lot oh, of yeah. games. And what's so more to talk about next week? Yeah, we'll talk this about again. We'll talk about the rest up. Wrap up the E threes next week. So, um, Mike, what do you think about E three? I like it. It's fun. <laughs> E3 is fun. Jim, yeah, what do you think E3. about E3 so far? I think it's fun. I think it's, I think it's fun. good time. Good time. Good time. Good games. Good company. Gwen could care less about, except about the Wii U. That's all she cares about. <laughs> uh, I care about everything. I'm just a little bit defensive on my Nintendo. I'm just, I want them to stay alive. Okay. Well, they're going to stay alive. But you, uh, know, you don't even have a Wii in this house, okay? I'm just saying. You're not I supporting have, him at all, Gwen. I don't have a Wii. Okay, I would, except for I don't feel like dishing out the money for it right But you do now. have a 3DS. Yes. Which is you didn't buy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not I supporting just, Nintendo at all. I'm just saying I, I like their company. I like what they do. And they're not a bad company. I just wish you'd change some things around. Yeah. Well, there's uh, no matter what company, there's some things you wish there was. Yeah, I wish they'd change the whole concept around. Yeah. I just don't like when they're basing everything on like the motion stuff. Steve. Yeah. Just wanted to make sure you were alive. No. <laughs> Steve will have more to say next week when we're not when we're not keeping him up late and he gets to check yeah. out more trailers and everything. Because it's late and he has worked tomorrow and he worked today. So, um, yeah. So E three is awesome. Well, not awesome, awesome, but E three is cool. I can't wait to hear more and see what's going on here and if I more, more information. So for, stop my joystick. We're out of here. Your joystick has officially been slapped.